Only few clay get the beautiful color after firing without glazes. And Bizen is one of them. The singularity of Bizen pottery is we don't use any glazes. Instead, we would fire the kiln, and this ashes of the firewood makes uh, some special uh, colors and uh, texture effect. So the loading and firing is, in a way, it's a glazing for Bizen pottery. So those uh, the color and the pattern effect uh, depends on the place uh, those pieces stay in the kiln. So the location is very important uh, because it all depends on the temperature and how much ash falls and the uh, air, the oxygen, and the uh, time. It's so much fun. When I'm doing it, I'm so into it. Sometimes I make good piece and sometimes I fail. But once it's done, I move to another piece. And uh, what I want to do, I want to express through this, my pottery is uh, the primitive power of the clay and the, the fire. The figure itself is just a device to express those power. The function is a, just a basic thing. And uh, what really matters is that it's beautiful or not. And uh, I need to capture some story or some music behind the figure. It takes two weeks to load and ten days to fire the kiln. Since wood firing is not as stable as gas firing or electric firing, the result is not always constant. Sometimes the temperature doesn't rise up. Sometimes there is too much air or too less ashes. So it gets various results each time. From the past experiences, many trials and errors, I'm studying how to let some special effect happen as I wish. And uh, it's what we call the happy accident in the kiln. And that is the most interesting part of wood firing. <laughs>